<laughs> but let's talk about bare facts. I mean, you're, you're talking about a guy, Donald Trump, who literally tried to suborn, um, you know, uh, who has probably suborned perjury in order to overthrow a duly elected government and managed to mobilize 40,000 people, right, to lay siege to the Capitol, oh, where a over 1,000 or more <laughs> entered the building, destroyed parts of the building, fought physically law enforcement there in order to stop American democracy. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been around a little bit and I've seen some dictators and warlords and authoritarians. That is authoritarianism. You can't say some guys are writing on Twitter and they made, you know, Sean King want to sell his house. That's like you say, it's just gossip, right? Twitter it's will not kill you unless well, you use that social pressure in order to achieve an action on the street. And believe well, me... Well, I'm going to address that in a minute. Okay, but, well, I wanna, but I want to... Oh, yeah, you, you can answer this first. Thank please. you. I appreciate it. Uh, a couple of quick things. One, 40,000 people did not assault the Capitol. Okay, that's just factually inaccurate. There were maybe 1,000 people. That is not making light of the evil of those people who all will end up rotting in prison, as they should. How many people came to that rally? Were all of those people assaulting the Capitol? Is that they your contention They all marched now? on the Capitol, and then the leading They all marched on the Capitol. The it's just inaccurate, Malcolm. Yeah, it isn't. No. Yes. No. It is inaccurate, Malcolm. Max, Ben. Well, well, yes, okay. you're not mentioning them. Okay. All right. Okay. None okay. of us let's saw so, Let's just saw. say some of them but, milled around outside. Yeah, but, okay. And, 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 there you go. And didn't yeah, stay out. Wait, hold on. I'll tell you why this is an important point. We have a short amount of time. I'll tell you This is very quick. I'll tell you why that's an important point. Because, Malcolm, you have a terrible habit of conflating people who do actual violent activity with a broader rubric of everyone, for example, who voted for Trump, which was 75 million people. And that really is ugly. I mean, you've tweeted about me, for example, that I'm such a racist I shouldn't be allowed in Washington, D.C. That sounds rather authoritarian in an attitude to me. I've never called for you to be kicked off of MSNBC. I've never called for anybody not to buy your book.